Hello guys, currently I'm at my first stop of my Normandy tour and we are now at Battery Tot. And why is that? Because I have a soul book from a soldier that served here his entire time from 1942 to 1944, September 29th, in a battery surrendered to the Allied forces. This battery had four large 380mm guns with a reach of 50 kilometers, so it was very easy for them to reach uh, England, like Dover, where they are shot at. I don't know how much uh, shells they did fire during its entire time. Maybe someone knows. Please comment that uh, in the comment section. And the uh, battery had four turma. So four towers where each was equipped with 380mm guns. So now we're going inside. So let's go. Okay, here we see one of the 25 made Navy artillery guns, 280 millimeters, with a range of 60 kilometers. There are apparently still two in existence, one here and one in the United States. So, let's see what else they got. Okay, we're going inside the bunker now and as you can see here, you can clearly see the letters battery tot. They are original, but they are misplaced. So if you do 10 and now photos, no, these are a little bit out of place. So let's go inside now. Okay, we're now going into the museum, into to the mine, so tower one, and we have to go to the right. We can go straight or go down. Let's see what's down. I'm a really nice Richten helper in for communications. And just before we had the first aid post, this is like a living room inside the bunker with an original kachel, a bit repainted.
officer's room. Although that's not an officer. Escape. So turn one. Field kitchen, looks of a pilot. Let's go up, Emil.
Okay, so we just left the museum. Beautiful, four out of five. But the um, battery taught itself the building, the fortress, the massive block hose. Is that you just need to visit once in your life. Just have to do it. It's really impressive. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Until next time.